Okay, welcome back to part two. If you haven't checked out part one yet, please have a look at it because I run you through all the different setup options of these pedals and even more of these amazing features. Now the real magic of this pedal is in the spring geometry. This is really, really important. Most springs normally rotate on the axis and they're attached very closely. And because it's a small kind of, you know, this is much, much wider than most normal pedals. Because normally it's a very small arc that the spring makes, in order to have it feeling like it's really springy and really responsive, you have to crank the spring up so that it's working right from the start of the stroke. With this, because this rotates around this arc of this big circle, it's kind of being projected up. So what happens is the start of the stroke, the pedal has to barely work at all. It's just really moving. But then on the second half of the stroke, it really stretches very, very quickly. And that's gonna give you a massive spring response. It's gonna allow you to play with a very light spring tension, but by the end of the stroke, it's gonna feel like you've got cranked up springs. So you won't feel a heavy, hard to play spring under your foot. It's not gonna be tiring, but it's gonna be just as responsive as if you've cranked those springs up. And on top of that, you can crank these springs up and the pedal also comes supplied with heavyweight springs for people that like lots and lots of spring tension. Now, with these beaters, you've got the beta head, which is adjustable for a different angle. So if you're playing on a pedal that doesn't have this really cool hoop clamp adjustment, you can still angle the beta to get it so that it is hitting flat, which is good because with this big solid disc, you get a lot of low end punch, a really good bassy sound out of your drum because you're hitting flat rather than at a point. Now, in terms of the weight, this is what's cool. You can unscrew the head. Now currently I have the regular felt heads on here. You can see that it's got some holes there for weight relief. And this is aluminium backing with a felt head. Now the, the really cool thing is if the felt wears down on your pedal and felt wears, especially if you play on like a coated head or something like that, you don't have to buy a new beater like you normally would. You can just change the head. But better than that, the pedal comes supplied with spare felt. So you can put those on the discs anyway and basically have it like new again. You can also then purchase additional felt if you need to in the future. But as well as that, we have the, as I say, regular version with felt. But then there are different versions that you can get. So this is the heavy felt version and it has a stainless steel backing, not aluminium, and there's no weight relief. So this is gonna be a much heavier but still felt tone. We then have heavyweight wood and there's also regular wood with the weight relief and aluminium back. Now, to change that, you just screw that in there, and now you've got a much heavier beater with more punch, and also the tone of a wooden beater. It's that quick and it's that easy. Now, as well as that, the beaters come with an optional weight. I don't have them fitted at the moment, but with that weight in there, we can now make this a much heavier feeling pedal. So if you experiment between two different weights of beater head and then also adding and lowering the weight, then you can go from the absolute lightest beater on the market, so regular with no weight, and then you can put the weight in and use a heavyweight beater and have pretty much the heaviest beater on the market. These pedals are a custom product. They are made to order, so when you purchase it, it will then be made for you. They're made of CNC machined aluminium, so they're very lightweight, super strong, and they're assembled all by Dennis, who is the head of ACD Unlimited and the designer of the pedal, so the quality control is second to none.
Now the drive shaft of these pedals is really, really good. You can see just from the sheer look of it, it makes most others look like toys. It is super, super, super smooth. Every one of these connections has a ball bearing in it. So it's really, it's ridiculously smooth. But there's also zero backlash, no movement whatsoever. You can't even feel like just a tiny click that you can't see or anything. It's, it's just solid. And this keeps the action from the left pedal to the right pedal pretty much identical. It's pretty surprising how well these pedals work together. Now, the other thing that's worth mentioning is that although obviously the, the pedal was made from machined aluminium, inside all the threads here for the screws, it's stainless steel. So the threads won't strip out just because they're made of aluminium. They're very, very strong. Now, a small feature that might not seem like much that to me just makes it nicer to use is the fact that this drive shaft can't completely separate. It stops it from coming out, which to be honest, it just is one less thing to have to worry about. Okay, as I said, the pedal is available as a strap drive and also as a direct drive. Now the strap is incredibly strong. I mean, a lot of people think that when you get a strap drive it's gonna wear down over time. This thing won't wear down and it's very, very strong. It's also super lightweight. Strap is kind of the perfect in between that a lot of people get, you know, they really overlook it. Everyone's either into chain for power or big into direct drives for speed. Belt drive or strap drive kind of gives you both. It's got the lightness of a direct drive, but the power of a chain drive. And it's mega responsive. Now one of my favorite features of this pedal is the fact that it folds away. Now it might not seem like a big deal or you might think, oh, it's one extra step to do. You don't have to fold them away. You can just leave them set up in place like any standard pedal. But for me, where I've done um, you know, clinics or drum shows and things abroad and I've had to fly out with hand luggage, the fact that these fold away so small and they come supplied in a really neat backpack means that I could put all of that stuff in the backpack and that's easily hand luggage. Included with the pedal, you also get a box of spare parts. So that will have some replacement felt heads in case you wear the felt down on the beaters. It also has a box with two spare springs, one regular and one heavyweight. It'll have a pouch that has some spare screws as well as any Allen keys that are needed in case you wanna do maintenance to the pedal over time. And lastly, it has the optional Velcro for the underside of the pedal. One last thing to mention with these is that they're a modular design. That means if you buy a longboard version and you think, actually, I kind of feel like I want to try a shortboard now, you could buy the shortboard separately and they go on the same base plate. So instead of your, um, your hinge, if you like, being here, it would go in here and then you'd have a heel plate on the pedal. So you can buy one pedal and then change it from a shortboard to a longboard, depending on your taste. <laughs> Okay, thanks a lot for watching. As I said, I'm gonna be posting up more videos on these pedals. They won't be as long because I won't have to cover as much, but they will be more specific, talking about certain areas or maybe some comparisons. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're notified when I actually upload those. And if you've enjoyed the video or found it useful, please hit like and comment below.